Is anyone familiar with a Republican strategist named Rick Wilson? I never heard of him, but he wrote on Politico about the Hillary email scandal. He said, let's stay out of the way of Hillary Clinton's email fiasco. Let's speak more in sorrow than anger. He's saying, basically, this is a giant problem for her. I, I feel like they're in the bubble again. That, you know, the, the, in the bubble, Hillary Clinton is this lawless monster who has only stayed out of jail by sheer luck. <laughs> and yet the poll came out today that said she's trouncing all 11 Republican people who they think might run for president. Um, what do you think about well, that? Well, basically, the problem it's not so much the emails. It's the way that Hillary responds to the press. There is that sense that somehow the press is always out to get her, and she cannot uh, stand it. I mean, you could see it at the press conference. I mean, she was so pissed at the Couldn't, fact that I she could had not, to deal with I that. I could not disagree more. You could not? Absolutely not. But she that... looked like someone who just is used to taking her beating like a man. <laughs> And I thought, when I watched it, I thought, this is going to serve her well, because that's what America's all about. It's not about issues. It's just, can you take your beating over stupid, infantile bullshit from our stupid, infantile press? And she said, yes, I can. Yes, I can. But I, I, you have to show me where she looked pissed. The way she kept repeating, convenience, convenience, convenience. The way she well, looked why? as though she would rather be an anywhere else. But Who more wouldn't? important, but more important, more well, important than that is the fact that she really needs to realize that's how the press is going to be. Of course. So if she doesn't I, want I that, argue, she shouldn't be just from, from my perspective as a journalist, not politically about who's going to run and what it does to her, it is important to me. And, you know, looking at the perspective of uh, transparency and openness, I think those emails should have been available sooner. I don't think they were handled properly. No. I, I filed a Freedom of Information Act request for them that would have covered them back in 2012, and clearly they didn't do a proper search for them. You can dismiss that and say, who cares, and it's not important, but just from a standpoint of openness and transparency and what the public's entitled to see, that's what concerns me, and I do think it's about the emails. Yeah. But there is kind of a whispering campaign about it, 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 which I find very sleazy. Kind of this idea put out there on the right that, hey, we're not saying that Hillary is part of Al-Qaeda. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> we're just saying that if we don't read her emails, we'll never really By know. We're not, well, saying she's a, we're not saying she's a witch. We're just saying it's a little suspicious you won't let us dunk her in the pond. The, think, How do you, what, do you make of, what do you make of the New York Times breaking the story on behalf of... Uh, I guess yeah, the Republicans, in your view. Yeah, I think I, there, there are two specific issues here that, that are a problem. I mean, number one, it's not just that Mrs. Clinton, you know, used a personal email. It's the fact that the physical mainframe, the server, was in a private residence. Right. Now, if you, the, yeah. a foreign intelligence service, a former Secretary of State, if they knew that, which they may well have, that's a gold mine. Mm. You get in there, you gain access to it. The US government does it all the time abroad, the CIA, foreign operations. And potentially, you can access some very important material, whether it's a relationship with Russia. Okay. So there's, she, there's she that. Did, she didn't handle it perfectly. There, but... was, there was the one good piece of news, which is that it pushed Benghazi down to the second threat of humanity. <laughs> but don't you understand? That's what's on her emails. When they finally get those emails, it's going to say, I hate America, attack Benghazi. <laughs> but she said something interesting. She said, you know, uh, I want to simplify. That's what her excuse was, convenience. And I totally relate to that. And I thought but of it this week. But you were not Secretary of State. I, you I, can relate to okay. that. Okay. 